I think could do more with eye contact. There's, but it's a since last semester we've been talking about it because of your glasses. Yep. The looking down <coughs> causes even more like um, cut off from from communication. Mm -hmm. So just try a, a little bit from the beginning. Experiencing the music, maybe you'd have the score there as like a reminder. But if you're up there reading the music, uh, then especially in a piece like this, it's not that complicated. And I'm sure all of you know it a lot better than you think you do. Uh, you could all do what Cole just did. It's very helpful, and, and it was you were very communicative when you did that. How did it feel to you? Right. very connected because I couldn't not look at them. You know? There was another little thing. Is, um, you actually can, sometimes you conduct a little bit high, mm -hmm. and you, you brought everything down, and I felt you were more connected to the sound. Mm -hmm. For me, and there's people who think exact opposite of this, so you just have to take it for what it's worth. If, uh, for me, if you conduct down here, I feel like you're connected to the breath, of the ensemble, and for string players, you have more help with their, the weight of their bow. Um, some people think if you conduct up here, you make people watch your eyes, and that's better. Um, but I don't think this is as helpful for encouraging good sounds. Anyway, so I, I even liked the, the plane in which you were operating. It was, was really good. So you'll see it on the videos. It looks great. Yeah. 